Hello there. Happy Friday to you. I hope all is well with you. We're going to come together for a time of prayer this evening. If you have any prayer requests, please put them in the comments down there, and others can be praying along with you, and we can pray for one another and know what's going on. Uh, today, I want to look at a little bit of John's Gospel in the 12th chapter. And this Sunday, we'll be talking about the triumphal entry and the palm branches, the Palm Sunday. Uh, but just after that, Jesus uh, predicts his death. And there's a passage in John's Gospel, starting in verse 20 of chapter 12. I want to read through it, say a few things, and then use it as our, our prayer tonight. Here's what Jesus says. He says, now there were I'm sorry, this is what John says. Now there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the festival. And they came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with a request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew, and Andrew and Philip told Jesus. I just thought there that there are people looking, they want to see Jesus now. Some are believers, like you and I, that want to see his hand at work. We want to know he's near. Others, maybe our friends and neighbors, family members that do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and they may come to us during these days. They may find somebody that they know is with Jesus, like Philip was, and they may ask questions. And, and I hope that we can offer the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. And I just pray that as they come to us, perhaps looking for Jesus, as they would like to see Jesus, they'll see him in us, and then we'll be able to share the gospel with them. And They'll know Jesus the way we do as well. The passage goes on to say, Jesus replied, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. He knew he was going to die. And that's what he's talking about there. Very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. And there I thought about the fact that many of us had had to, have had to die to ourselves. We've had to put aside our agendas and our our way of doing things, in fact, and uh, some of our own pleasures and, and just desires have been laid aside for us. And it's as we uh, lay down our life for Jesus Christ, it produces seed. Just like Jesus said, many seeds will come because of his one death. And so let's be those kernels of wheat that uh, we fall to uh, give our lives to Jesus Christ and produce many, uh, many seeds. I, I, I've got this weird prayer going on in my mind that we would out um, contagion the virus that you've seen the charts and you've seen the curves and um, wouldn't it be neat if we were as contagious as that virus where two or three people would come to know Jesus because the way we lived our lives because they came into close contact with us as it as it can be and and uh, so I'm praying that we would be contagious like the coronavirus Jesus says anyone who loves their life will lose it while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant will also be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. So those are Jesus' reassuring words to his disciples. And then he says this, and this is really going to be my prayer today for us. This is Jesus talking. My soul is troubled. Is your soul troubled these days? Are you tired and, and weary? Jesus knows what that's like. We have a sympathetic high priest who knows what life down here is like. He, he willingly entered into this world. And if we think we've got it rough, and we do, it's very challenging. Most of mankind, our history is one of weariness and, and struggle and, and trials. And he entered into that world. He entered into this fallen world. And he knows here on the eve of his death, my soul is troubled. So we're going to pray that God would just meet us in our troubled, tired souls. But then he says this, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. He's basically coming to his, I don't want to say coming to his senses, but he's thinking through this and says, yes, I'm troubled. And then he goes on to say, but this is the very reason I came. was to go through this trial, to, to go to the cross. He says, the very reason I, I came to this hour, Father, glorify your name. So I want us to realize that God has us here right now for a reason. He, he knew this was all coming, and he knew that he wanted us here during this time to serve him and to serve one another and to offer the same prayer that Jesus said. Should we ask it to be any other way? 
No, we're here for this very reason and glorify your name, Father. So with that in mind, with this this episode of, of Jesus being sought after by people who are going to people that know him, like Philip, that we were gonna we're gonna pray that Jesus would be sought after and that we would be ready to point people to Jesus. We're also gonna pray what uh, Jesus asked that if that we would just die to ourselves and serve him and serve others in a way um, that produces fruit, becomes contagious. We're going to thank God that he knows our troubled souls, but we're going to, we're going to tell him we're, we're tired and we're, and we're troubled. Then we're going to realize, like Jesus did, that maybe we're here just for this reason. That he has something for us to do, that, that it's his purpose. It's that, that we're here for this very hour. And we're going to pray what Jesus prayed, that God's name would be glorified through this. So would you pray with me, please? Father, our prayer is found in these words. I pray, first of all, God, that people that are searching for answers would find some of us that know the answer, and that they would see in us and they would hear from us the gospel of Jesus Christ, and we would be able to take them to Jesus, that they would see Jesus in us, that they would hear about him through our words. Our attitudes, God, would reflect him. And I pray, God, that we would serve in such a way that we're dying to ourselves, that, that we are falling to the ground, as it were, so that we're contagious, that, that two, maybe three people would come to know Jesus Christ because of the way we're living and trusting and hoping in you. Father, we are tired. We're troubled. These uncertain times certainly bring anxiety and, and weariness. They stretch us in many, many ways. They cause us fear and they cause us to, to uh, think and worry about what may tomorrow bring. Thank you for your words in, in Matthew's gospel that worry about today. We have enough food and clothing and, and you'll take care of the rest. But God, as we're troubled and, and tired, just meet us there, please, and encourage us and strengthen us. Give us rest where we're tired. Give us peace where we're troubled. But I, I find comfort in knowing that Jesus you know about this. You, you entered into this world. And Jesus, I thank you for your words, and I pray that we would pray the same thing. We are here for just a time like this. God, help us not to quickly ask to get out of our trying times when it may be those very times that you're working in us and working through us for others. That you have placed us here for such a time as this. This is our hour. This is the day that we can make a difference for you. And God, we pray with Jesus Christ, your son, that your name would be glorified. God, may you be known and may you be honored in our lives. We love you, God, and we thank you. And we ask all this in Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, I hope that's comforting to you. I hope to see you again on Monday for our next prayer time. Join us, please, on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, for our worship service. If you're a family, uh, there's a there's a Families of Grace challenge going on right now where you reenact Palm Sunday with your kids. And then next week as the Holy Week comes, uh, focus a lot of your attention on Jesus Christ. I would encourage you and I'll, uh, to, to, to read through the, the, day, the events of those days each day and just think about what Jesus was doing and his purpose to go to the cross for us. We love you. We can't wait till we can gather again. But blessings.